like a basketballer. Oh, yeah, so that's a basketball move. Yeah. <laughs> that's a sick move. Yeah. 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 Ladies, gents, good to see you again. I'm here with the second in this mini series collaboration with Carlos Moreno from Moreno Boxing. Um, in the first video, we spoke a lot about mindset and the mentality you need to bring to your training. I've linked that video up in the corner. Click on that, catch up on that video if you saw it, and if you didn't see it, Go see it first. Or you can chill here, it's fine. Do what you want to do, you're a grown-up. Or not, whether you're a grown-up or not, it's fine. You can do what you... Anyway, in this video, we're going ninja mode. Bruce Lee style. Straight up. Okay? We're doing a technique that I have um, incorporated into my training, which I've called the switchover. And this fundamentally entails switching stances and being able to switch your body weight switch your dominant hand and do so comfortably practicing this will build rope awareness you know if you can move from right side dominant to left side dominant and feel completely comfortable i believe you're a more well-rounded and balanced rope athlete so i'll be talking through that aspect of my training in this video one <laughs> One fundamental technique that underpins all of it, what we'll go through in this video is called the crocodile snap. And it's called that because it resembles the manner in which a crocodile snaps its jaws. And if I'm talking absolute nonsense right now, I ask that you just give me a chance and let me explain. The analogy is to think of our hands as crocodile jaws, right? So, if you're right-handed, you want to be going with this motion. If you're left-handed, you want to be going with this motion. Okay, I'm right. Oh, this is the crocodile snap. The crocodile snap. The crocodile snap. So for that switch over, hold on. If we're on our right hand, so we want to switch to the left. Snap. And then we carry on this with the next switch stances. Yeah. Okay, cool. So if you're right-handed. And 
the same principle applies for when you want to pass the rope under your legs. Okay. So you think, remember the crocodile snap? Yeah. Snap. Snap. Whoops. Just to show us snap. Hi, me again. As you've just heard from Carlos, the next video is going to involve nunchucks training. Now that is actual, actual Bruce Lee shit. That's actual ninja stuff. So make sure you check that one out. If you hit the subscribe button at the start of the video, great stuff. I love you for that. Um, if you haven't and you've reached this part of the video, don't worry, it's fine. It's fine. You can just click it now and hit the notification bell next to that, which will make sure you're informed of every video that's posted here. Like, literally, you're literally part of an exclusive members only club. So, and really, you know what? I just appreciate it if you subscribe. That's probably the main reason. None of that exclusive club shit. <laughs> um, yeah, in that next video, I'm gonna go through how I use nunchucks to incorporate into my training style, the various ways I use them and 
how you can use them to benefit your training if you so please so i think that's enough from me thanks again for watching until next time all the best with your training Thank <laughs> you.